There are times when we did something on our WordPress website when we accidentally deleted our WooCommerce pages or we can't find them or they're not configured correctly as we want to. So in this video, I will show you three methods how to do that, how to implement those pages back to your WooCommerce store. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Once you're on your WordPress dashboard, what you want to do and the first method would be that you would navigate to your WooCommerce then go to status and go to tools over in the tools tab. What you want to do is scroll a little bit down and see here you have the create default WooCommerce pages. What this button will do, it will generate or regenerate those WooCommerce pages and you'll have them right out of the bat and into your pages section right over here. You'll see it over here and you'll have them. The next method is to create those pages hand by hand. It means that you go over to pages and add new and add those short codes. For example, I want to create the checkout page. I'll create it check out and then I'll head over to this URL. This URL would be linked down in the description below and you could see and when I scroll down, you would see those short codes right over here. So in our example, we'd head over to our WooCommerce checkout. We'd copy this one, head over to our tab over here. What you want to do is get those square braces and paste the short code right over here. Once this one is paste and you'll save the changes and you publish it, what you will see in the front end is the checkout page. The same thing applies if you head over back and create the other pages. For example, let's head over to the cart page and edit this one. Over in the cart page, you'll see that already pasted or it's already been pre-made the WooCommerce cart. And this short code comes from this exact URL. It comes from WooCommerce as you can see in the URL over here. And again, it will be down in the description below. The third method is installing a plugin. So what you want to do is head over back to your WordPress, we exit the pages, go to plugins, add new plugin, and search here the store customizer. It will be this exact plugin by Kyra. What you want to do is head over and install this plugin, then activate it. And here, I will skip this one for now. One thing to mention about this plugin, it really depends on your theme and it would act accordingly or change accordingly to your theme. All right, back to the WP admin dashboard. So we will not dive into here. What you want to do is head over to your appearance and then customize. So currently I have the Astra theme and what you want to do is head over to the store customizer and right over here, you can see all those WooCommerce pages and you can customize them whatever you want to. Obviously it will also depends on the capabilities of this plugin. So let's hover, for example, to the cart page and let's see what we want to do here. Let's say I want to add a coupon and a button text. All right. So over here, I want to change the text. You can have this option or you can display user adjustment to quality. So for for example, you don't want it or you want to enable it. So you have this option over here and you have a ton of more options if you scroll down below. And these are the three methods that you can customize or recreate your WooCommerce pages. And if you find this video helpful, I'll be really glad if you leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like this video or want to see more on the theme. I make tutorials and videos on WooCommerce, Elementor and WordPress on a weekly basis. So make sure to stay up to date on this matter. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.